Welcome back to Land Investing Online. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to comp a piece of land in rural America. Now, comping land in rural America can be a very difficult task for a couple of reasons. Number one is there aren't a lot of comps. There's not a lot of data points, so you need to take that into account and you need to find good data, good comps to price your land based off of. Number two is you need to find like kind land for comps. So if you have a piece of land that is very sloped or something like that, you need to find a comp for a piece of land that is just as sloped. It's going to be hard to compare apples to oranges with this if your land is different than the comps you're using. There are two tools that I'll be using in this video. I'll use ID Land, formerly known as MapRite, and what that's going to do is help me evaluate the attributes on the land, where it is, see the slope on the land, see if it's got any water features, any wetlands, any floodplain. And then I'm also gonna be using Zillow. Zillow is a great tool uh, that pulls data from all the MLSs just like Redfin does, but I like Z Zillow because it's usability from my perspective. So let's get to it. First, we're going to get on MapRite. So here you can see I have MapRite up and we have 5.5 acres in Jasper County, Georgia, and we're trying to determine what the sale price is going to be for this piece of land. Um, so let's get into it. So here you can see we have the 5.5 acres. I can go into it. Um, 5.36 acres. I can go into it. You can see the outlines. The red outline is going to be the estimated boundaries. You can see that says 5.07. Everything's good there. So like I said to start this video, MapRite is great for the features. So when we go to overlays, this is where you're going to see a lot of features. We can also go and see different maps. Uh, so this is Google Earth and different maps are going to show different things because the aerial shots were shot at, a diff at different times. So going back in, I like Google, honestly. So we're going to go in and we're going to look at our overlays. What overlays are important to us? What overlays are going to affect the sale price? Because that is what I care about when I'm comping out a piece of land. So let's go to contour lines first. So contour lines, for those of you who do not do not know, is the slope of the parcel. And again, we always suggest getting boots on the ground before buying a piece of land because these are not 100% accurate. So you can see here, this is elevation above sea level, 520, 540. So it's got a little bit of slope. It's probably going to be a rolling parcel, but it's nothing crazy. So if you saw, like for example, here, this is 40 feet of slope over a very short period. If this was on my land, I'd be much more concerned. So contour lines check out. Now let's go to our floodplain. Floodplain is going to show if there's risk of flood. Um, I click this, nothing showed up. If you zoom out, you can see, I guess uh, you can see over here that there are some floodplains in the area, but obviously that's not affecting our land. Uh, just making sure that the overlay is working correctly. So then we're going to go into wetlands. So the difference between wetlands and floodplain, floodplain is a risk of flooding. Wetlands, a lot of time it has standing water. Wetlands, in my opinion, affect the sale price of land much more than floodplain. If half my land was in floodplain, I wouldn't care because we can build and this will be great rec land back here. But if half my land or three quarters of my land was in wetlands, that land is not necessarily unusable, but a lot more difficult to use than land that's in a floodplain where it has a chance of flooding. So overall with this piece of land, it's a pretty straightforward piece of land. It's got great road frontage here. It is a great shape. It's a great acreage at five acres. I really like this piece of land. So when we comp this out, we're going to be looking at like kind comps that are pretty solid land. And that is what I am looking for. So let's zoom out. And like I said, we're in Jasper County, Georgia. When we are comping out the land, we want to know what part of the county we're in because some of these counties, as you can see, like our land is over here. That's a big difference to land over here. So we want to get comps in this general eastern region of Jasper County, Georgia. So let's do that. So I'm going to pull up Zillow here. And right now I don't have any filters on here. Again, we're over here in this general region with our land. I'm going to go to uh, home type. I don't want houses on here. So I'm going to deselect all. And then I'm going to select lots and land. Going from there, I'm going to change the acreage. We have five acres. I don't want to be, I don't want to see comps for one acre. I don't want to see comps for a hundred acres. That's not going to help me uh, in evaluating the piece of land. So I'm going to go two acres up to 10 acres. That's the region I usually choose if we have a five acre parcel. And you can see right away, we have some comps. So this is for sale comps. What do I use for sale comps for? What I want to see is what competition. If I put my piece of land up for X dollars, what kind of competition am I going to be seeing on the market? 
with my land. So again, we're over in this region. So I'm just going to scroll over. And when you scroll on Zillow, it is going to start pulling off the things that are not in the region that is being shown. So I just like scrolling over and having this shown. So we can see some comps here that are for sale. So we have 6.9 acres for sale for $65,000. If I go into this parcel, this has been on the market for almost a year. I'm almost going to ignore that comp. Honestly, guys, when I look at this, there is not a lot of for sale competition. There's not, all these are pretty old comps. And I'm going to also switch this to newer, newest actually. But you can see even this one, it's nine acres for $96,000. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to sold comps and see what's actually selling in the market. So let's go over to change it from for sale to sold. And we're going to look at the comps of things that are sold. We want to find reasonable comps. We don't want to find comps that are crazy, just outliers. So just looking at this, like I see five for 135. This does not seem like a legitimate comp. Let's see what it says here. Two of the five acres cleared. It's just this, this price does not make sense. I've seen this price quite a bit, this five for 60. So honestly, guys, let's look into these comps right here. So we have five for 63. We have five for 60. These are right in our acreage range. These appear um, to be really, really solid comps, but let's go in and see what we have. So just looking over here, five acres land, just everything seems very normal. I always read through the descriptions and when I read through a description, I'm making sure that there's not um, an improvement on the land that's increasing the value or there's not a floodplain or something that's hurting the value of the land because sometimes you're not gonna be able to see that in pictures. So what I want to look at here, I want to see what the market's like. So how fast are things selling? So the the crazy thing here is they just overpriced their land. They posted it for $90,000, didn't get any interest at that price, which it doesn't appear that we should be surprised about that. And then they sold it a few months later for $60,000. They accepted a low offer. Um, but that being said, they were overpriced at first. So let's go into this 5.67. And this just sold. I'm recording this in July. This just sold one month ago about... So this is, again, a very similar acreage to us. I really like these comps. And this one they posted for a more realistic price. Uh, so they posted it for $68.5 and it sold for $63.5 and it took about a month and a half to go pending. Um, so that is a really solid comp as well. Five for 45, this one is obviously a little cheaper here. Posted on 128 and went pending on uh, 27. Whether you're deciding on whether you should buy the property or if you're deciding on what price you need to sell for, this is what you need to go through. What I'm looking for is what's going to be a fast sale price. And what I would post this property at for myself, if this was my piece of land, is $55,000. I think you're going to undercut the market for what's for sale. There appears to be a solid demand in this market for uh, five acres. And we see that with the sold comps. So my prediction for this property or my suggestion for this property would be listing this property for $55,000. I think you'll be get cash offers for maybe full price, maybe even over asking price within a couple days to a week. And you're going to flip this piece of land very quickly. Other than that, guys, I hope this was very helpful. If you guys have any more suggestions, please let me know in the comments for future videos like this, and uh, I'll get them recorded for you guys. Other than that, have a good day and we'll see you soon.